إذا كنت تريد أن تكون على مذهب السلف تعلم مذهب السلف وما هم عليه. See this is the thing right because we're born in the West in Britain. Yeah. The religion gets attacked all the time. You have Richard Dawkins. You've heard of Richard Dawkins, yeah. Yeah. yeah I call him Richard Dawkins, yeah. He's a bit of a crazy guy trying to like attack religions and blame yeah. everything on religions and stuff. And there's no proof for God. Yeah. Let, let me just two things here. First and foremost. We are brought up thinking that everything that we must verify has to be touch and feel. Yeah. yeah. But let me tell you something. If God could be touched and felt and seen, would that be God? No, not you mean. Would, would that be well, God? It wouldn't really be a test of belief, would it? Because you would know. It's, for a it's fact not even just a belief because God actually says there's good reasons to believe in Him. For example, yeah. look. Do you believe you had a great, 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 great grandma? No. Do you believe I mean, in it? Yeah, but I mean, there's, it's obviously, I know that because obviously Why? I'm here now. Uh, exactly. Yeah, but, but that's exactly the point. Have you ever seen your great, 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 great grandma? You don't have access to a DNA? I know scientifically, I, w I would have to have one to be here. How, 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 well, I don't know. <laughs> See, that's the point. Using the terminology here, scientifically, you have no clue. You have no clue. Scientifically, you're dumb. You're just, you're just dumb on this position. Mm -hmm. We're dumb on this position because what does science say? Science say we can only verify the physical world and things that we can touch and feel. Mm -hmm. This is a non-verifiable thing. Yeah. The only way you know you got a great, 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 great grandma is because you're here. You've made a logical, rational decision, not based on the physical world, based on necessity. Mm. If it's necessary your great, 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 great grandmother existed in order for you to be here. You can't see her, but if someone says she never existed, you say, get lost, man, you're crazy. <laughs> Do you see my point? Yeah. So the point is, we don't need physical evidence all the time to come to conclusions. Exactly the same thing with God. As you said, cause and effect, creator and created. Mm. Let's put it this way. Everything in the universe, dude, that begins to exist, okay, if I just popped like this, here I am, I just popped into existence, has a cause. You know it must have came from somewhere. Mm. Everything that begins, that starts to exist, always has a cause. Number two, the universe, without a shadow of a doubt now, began to exist. Based on philosophy, mathematics, Big Bang. You know about the Big Bang, yeah? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> It's not that thing after too many curries, right? <laughs> yeah, the Big Bang, okay? So from all this, we know the universe began to exist. So what logically follows? Therefore, the universe has a cause. So we just say, right, without a doubt, we know the universe has a cause. What is the nature of this cause? Well, if you create the universe, it can't be part of the universe. Because if it's part of the universe, then that would mean the universe existed and didn't exist at the same time. Madness. Does that make sense? No. That's just crazy. Madness. Can Abu Bakr exist and not exist at the same time? Don't make no Although sense. we may want him not to exist. Because <laughs> he, talk, he talks a lot. Yeah, yeah I'm mean, kidding. So there's that. It must be one. Because they're knocking on the door. We don't assume there's Manchester United football pitch, the football team behind, behind the door, right? We, we say it's one person, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. It's the most logical explanation. We know it must be all powerful. It didn't create <laughs> the grain of sand, it created the whole universe, right? Yeah. And we know it must be uncreated. Because some people say, well, who created God? It must be uncreated. Why? Don't know why. But let me give you an example. Say I want to shoot you, yeah? Yeah. Good style like this, yeah? <laughs> Boom. Yeah? Hackney style. <laughs> but before I could shoot, I have to ask Abu Bakr for permission. Abu Bakr can I shoot the geezer? He says, he says, wait. I need to ask someone behind me to shoot. And that guy uh, has to ask permission too. If that goes on forever, could I shoot you? No. Impossible. <laughs> exactly the same thing with the universe. The question of saying who created God is equivalent of saying there is no creation. Because you need a final point. Because if it went on forever, we would never have creation in the first place. So look what we've just done, just very simply. We've said there's a cause for the universe. It must be one, powerful, and uncreated. This is exactly what the Quran says. قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ Allahu samad lam yanid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad Say God is one, unique, eternal, self-sufficient He begets not, nor was He begotten, He's uncreated And there is nothing like Him, He's immaterial, He's outside of the universe yeah. So just using our aql in Islam is our intellect Reflection, as the Quran always tells us to reflect He uses the word yatafakkarun, for those who reflect Because the Quran is for reflecting human beings So we come to the conclusion that there must be a God For me, I think that's Irrefutable evidence there. Yeah. We could even go slowly through it again. Because they were very basic concepts, weren't they? Yeah. 
So there's evidence for it. Mm -hmm. There's evidence for it. And then what I would say now is, when, is God an absentee landlord? He just give you the keys and will go away. No, how could we apply something to God that we never apply to ourselves? I've got a Blackberry, right? Mm. What came with my Blackberry? A manual came with my Blackberry. No. Human beings made this no. and they made the manual. No. So we make manual for things. We're well, saying God wouldn't give us guidance. We're, we're actually Allah. being saying lesser for the being that created the whole universe. Yeah. Allah. We must be chiefs if we think that, man. We must be crazy. So the point uh, is, it only makes sense that he gave us revelation. Now the question is, what is the revelation? That's a profound point we need to be talking about.